And all across the Bay Area, we've seen a lot of these images over the past week. Cars getting trapped in floodwaters. Not a good idea to drive those through those, by the way. And all of this can lead to pricey repairs. And as our Max Darrow tells us, the damage may not even be noticeable right away. A week of intense storms drenched the region, flooding neighborhoods across the Bay Area. Cars submerged in floodwaters, often from overflowing creeks, like on Arroyo Court in San Mateo, where William Winfield lives. One of my neighbors was parked down there. She had an older car, and um, by the time she got there, it was the flooding was so intense it messed up her electrical, electrical system. Um, her insurance company ended up uh, tolling the car. Walking us out of the neighborhood to his car, he feels lucky he was able to get his car out of the neighborhood. You know, yay high. So I get in and basically I just peel out, hoping that I wasn't going to do any, um, you know, further damage to it. Water made its way inside his car, but so far Winfield says everything seems to be okay. He hopes that's the case long term. And my car had about two inches of water only on the right hand side. In San Francisco at JR Automotive, Jesus Rojas says his shop is now working on cars with flood related damage. So on this one, the computer is located towards the floor of the vehicle. But if you can tell, we still have water coming from the carpet. He's not surprised, considering that this is what the street looks like outside of his shop after the New Year's storm. Well, definitely there's going to be more vehicles coming in. Maybe not today, not tomorrow, but eventually. Rojas says some people could immediately tell their cars were damaged by the flooding, but others may not learn of flood related problems until later on down the line. Over time, water condensation gets into electronics, and it can take a month or even a year before you start seeing some of those signs. And water damage can lead to pricey repairs. If the water got to the point that it damages a lot of electronics on the vehicle, it can actually be more than the value of the vehicle. Back on Arroyo Court, where some cars remain parked in the mud, Winfield feels for his neighbors, now dealing with the flooding fallout. It was at least four that got towed away um, because they didn't get out here in time. He remains hopeful he doesn't see any problems with his car as the year unfolds.